Hello, I'm going to help people to understand how easy it is to actually put attributes using the template library into onto a project. And the example I'm going to give you is from the BS1192 part four, which is the code of practice for Kobe. In the code of practice, there is a suggested list of attributes for buildings on page 22 and also for spaces. Now what we've done here is we've taken these attributes which you can see there and we've added them into the template library. So I'll flick over to the template library and there we have a template which I've named BS1192-4 facility 2014. So if I click on that and open it up We've got some details about it and down here I've actually got some property sets and I can manage the property sets here. So I can create property sets and I can also change the order in which they appear. And you'll see that these property sets have a number of attributes associated with them. If I just go back to details, I can get to those attributes within each property set. So we're looking at the general ones here and each property set has a particular type of data type. So the ones for areas and volumes are in square meters and cubic meters. Coordinates are the geo coordinates. So some of those are expressed in meters and some of those are actually a, a geo coordinate such as north, so many degrees, so many minutes, so many seconds. Okay, so we've got a template and that's how we build it. So let's have a look at how that's then used in our Kobe application. So I've logged in and I've gone into a project which you may recognize as one of the Revit sample projects. And here I can assign a template. So I click assign template. And that will then look at the template library but just look at templates that are to do with the building. So I can have many different templates. So I'll click on that. So that's now told me that that's been assigned. So when I go back to facility, I can now edit using that template. So click on that and that now brings up the panels and you'll see that the panels are named as the property sets and each of the field types is displayed accordingly. So a Boolean gets displayed with a little slider true or false. So if I don't know what these are, if I just click on there, it'll tell me that the facility is a historic landmark. No, it's not. Uh, is it a permanent ID? So we can say yes for that. Uh, here we've got the elevation above sea level. And you'll see that some of these attributes have already been filled in. And that is because we've used the address for the project and that writes a series of attributes against the facility and those correspond with the same attribute names so that they appear here. I've got to do some work here to get the Eastings and Northings working. So if I put a gross area in here, so if I just put 1800 square, well 1800 square meters, that's a big house, isn't it? Do an update on that. And I'm doing this just as an example. If I go to export and then click my export, go be not finished completely here, the options, but that will then just generate a spreadsheet for me. And now if I just open that spreadsheet, I'm just gonna move the spreadsheet into a better position. Here is the spreadsheet and it's filled all, you can see which, sheets it's actually filled in. So we've got a contact sheet there. I've got some dummy suppliers in. There's my basic data about the facility. It's got my floor levels in there, the spaces, a whole series of components, a whole series of types. It's even got assemblies in there because I've been doing some ironmongery, which if you read my blog, you'll see how I've done that. Uh, the documents, so those are some of the image. Those are the images. That's all that I've put up there. Then there's a list of attributes here. I've actually already filtered this spreadsheet by the facility, so we can quickly see that that's the value, that gross area that we put in, and that's the little bit of um, work we've got to do. 
to put in the actual unit type rather than the data type. And there's also a whole list of attributes. Thanks very much for watching.